ABC 3340 News Tonight begins with breaking news. A house burned outside Inslee leads to a grisly discovery. The body of a person who investigators now say was killed. Hello everyone. Police say this is now a homicide investigation. Tonight they are asking for the public's help in searching for a person of interest. ABC 3340 Stephen Quinn is at the live desk with the very latest. Stephen. Brenda, police say that 35 year old Hewitt DeWitt Jones should be considered armed and dangerous. He's a person of interest in the arson, which we now know left a person found dead this morning at a house on Eufaula Avenue. Now, this is the most recent photo we've been able to find of James from when he was booked in the Atauga County Jail just two days ago. Now, police have not said what has connected him exactly to this case in terms of evidence, but police also believe Jones may be driving this black Chevy Silverado pickup truck we have here on this INET. And you notice there that on the bottom of the screen, that is the license plate that we are told an Alabama license plate ISA 2106. And again, police asking for the public's help right now, trying to find this man they call a person of interest. Now, what police have not said is whether this fire, the body that was found today, or Jones himself are connected to a missing man from Jefferson County. Muriel. And Stephen Quinn at the live desk. And as Quinn just mentioned, 42 year old Nathan Gemeinhart has been missing since Monday morning. Today we learned his car was found just a block from that scene in Inslee where police say a body was found. His family and friends are now left with a mountain of unanswered questions and concerns. Tonight, Gemeinhardt's loved ones came together to hold a vigil. ABC 3340's Bobby Portman was at Red Mountain Church in Birmingham. And Bobby, you spoke with people who are close to him. Muriel, media was not allowed inside of the vigil, but I did get to talk to people as they came in and out of it. They tell me it was sad and emotional. Jesse Suttle has known Nathan Gemeinhardt for seven years. That's why he's here Tuesday night. Uh, really just to pay my respects to Jessica and the family and um, just to, you know, let them know that I'm, I'm with them in prayer and, you know, just to show a sign of solidarity. Settle and Gemeinhart play in a band together. I'm a drummer. Uh, Nathan, just, his timing was impeccable and he just, you know, just grooved so hard and always just made it really fun to play music with him. For Settle, his friend's disappearance is a shock. For someone to do something this, you know, just horrific and tragic to somebody like that, I mean, it just, just goes to show that evil really does exist, you know, because he is the last person that, you know, I feel that would have been wrapped up in something nefarious or something. Subtle and dozens more sang songs like Amazing Grace as part of Tuesday's ceremony at Red Mountain Church. Senior Pastor Charles Johnson says Gemeinhart could gather people together. Now friends, neighbors, and loved ones are gathering together while fearing the worst. That's, that's my hope, that we would grieve together well as a community of Christ, that we would love each other well, and most importantly, extend uh, wonderful hospitality and care to, to his family. Now there's a, there's a $100,000 reward to help find Gemeinhart. Live in the newsroom, Bobby Portavent, ABC 3340 News.